Hello everyone, my name is Ruben, I'm the Smart Product Manager. In the following minutes, I would like to introduce you to my tutorial about all electric driving. With the skip marks below, you can go to the chapter that you like most. Range is highly depending on your driving behavior. So it depends very much on traffic, it depends on weather, and it of course depends on how you personally drive yourself. The battery capacity installed inside our vehicles is 17.6 kilowatt hours. The range should be somewhere between 120 and 130 kilometers. We know that people in the city, in average, drive 30 to 40 kilometers per day, so the range should be well enough for your daily driving. If you're not sure about the range, we have two options for you, how you can check whether the range is feasible for you. Number one is, you can use our EQ Ready app. It actually tracks your driving during the day, and afterwards, you can then realize if the range is suitable for you. Number two, and that's of course the easiest, you just go to the dealership and you take the car for a test drive for a full day. Battery status and range are crucial. That's the reason why we have many ways how we would like to display it to you. First, we have the additional instrument on top of the dashboard that is indicating you the battery status at any time. Same information comes across in the central display. If you are not inside your car, you can also check the battery status in the Smart EQ control app. As a status in percentage of your battery is very difficult to translate in range, that's the reason why we do this for you. So based on your individual driving behavior, we translate the battery percentage into a range in kilometers. You find this range in the central display at the bottom right. Your actual driving range is determined by many things. So it's not only weather and traffic situation, actually mostly it is your personal driving behavior. So if you go with high speed and if you go for quick accelerations, that actually has a direct impact on your range. Whenever you realize that additional range could help you, we have the eco button for you inside that car. The eco button limits the top speed, brings down the level of acceleration and also the climate control, and last but not least, brings the recuperation to a maximum. The quickest way to charge your smart is the 22 kilowatt onboard charger in combination with public charging infrastructure or the smart wall box. In this case, charging from 10 to 80% can happen in less than 40 minutes. I would like to show you now how charging with the smart wall box works. It's actually quite easy, so let's go. The vehicle will communicate with you during the whole charging process. As soon as the connection between vehicle and charging infrastructure is set, you will see a yellow light blinking. As soon as the charging starts, the light turns green. A constant green light is indicating that the battery is full and that you are good to go. Whenever you see a red light, that indicates that something is not correct. That was charging at the smart wall box. In the next step, Let's do the same thing at public charging infrastructure. Let's check it out. Let's say I had a rough day and I want to drink a coffee downtown. When arriving at the cafe, I realize there's a charging station right next to it. So let's use the time and charge up. When charging at the public charging station, you first plug in the charging cable at the charging station. Afterwards, you plug in at the car. When charging is finished, it's exactly the other way around. So first you unplug at the vehicle and afterwards at the charging station. Now, as everything is up and running, time for the coffee. Now I'm finally here, having my coffee, and my car is outside, charging at the same time. That's actually not an uncommon thing. We see you more and more dense charging infrastructure net in the cities. And in the future, it will be very common that you find charging stations at the gym, shopping malls, supermarkets, and at cinemas. 
For those of you who are worried about the battery performance, we have good news. Every vehicle comes with a 8 year and 100,000 kilometers battery certificate. So whenever you drop below 70% of the original battery performance, we will change your battery. I just received a push notification that charging is completed. It's time to go on. Luckily, electric driving is not only about battery capacities and charging facilities. The most important thing is, it is fun to drive. And this is exactly what we are going to check out now. All right, let's go. What do you think? Is it on or is it off? It's on. Let's go. The turning circle of our two-seater is incredibly short. It's only 6 meters 95. So wherever you want to turn around in the city, just turn around. The car is so silent while driving, so we thought it's clever to make people around aware of it. That's the reason why we installed the acoustic presence indicator that works to a speed up to 30 kilometers per hour and is a standard equipment. Pay attention to the sound. We hardly make any noises, not in here, nor outside. You can actually open the roof while driving at any speed. If you even want to see some more of the sky, you can take off the roof bars. For that, I will stop now and park the car. Now that's real cabrio feeling. You can even hear the birds and the leaves and the trees. The new Smart EQ models are so much fun to drive. The driving dynamics are supported by the low center of gravity, the full torque of the e-motor by any time, and there are no gear shifts anymore. Another cool comfort feature that we have installed in that car is the radar-based recuperation system. Works actually quite simple. So whenever you drive in the city, the distance to the car in front of you is actually put into the right place just by using recuperation instead of braking. Gives you additional energy in the battery and a longer range to drive. Let's see how sustainable we were on our little trip. A parameter that can help you is the Eco Score that is provided inside the vehicle and also on your EQ control app. What is the Eco Score about? The Eco Score in the end is like a game. It is judging how balanced your driving was in terms of acceleration and top speed. In a nutshell, the higher the score, the longer your range. Don't miss the opportunity to go to one of our dealerships and test drive the car. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Smart.